Nam for a mental teacher, Shaki Muni Buddha. Nam for a mental teacher, Shaki Muni Buddha. Nam for a mental teacher, Shaki Muni Buddha. My name is Lily Trina. I'm 11 years old and currently living in Houston, Texas. Today, I would like to introduce to Grant M. Pekin, a Vietnamese Buddhist monastic woman whose life story mostly comes down to us through legend. Although historians do believe that she actually existed, apparently in Vietnam, her story is widely known. And there are several famous operatic and dramatic versions of it. Pekin, better known as Guanyang, a very beautiful and talented young maiden. She was brilliant, devout, and wanted nothing more than to dedicate her life to the Dharma, but was instead expected to marry a man of her parents' choice. Legend has it that Guanyang was married to a rich man named Ting Si, and he thought that she wanted to murder him. Thereupon, her husband and his family put her out of the house. Guang Am disguised herself as a young man and went to the Buddhist pagoda, where she worked and prayed for her the rest of her days. Unfortunately, one young woman from a prestigious family in the town fell in love with her thinking she was a young male monk. After one, one such thwarted attempt, she was so angry, she went home and slept with a servant boy. She became pregnant and panicked. She decided to tell her parents Taken was the father, hoping they would force him to marry her. Of course, Taken would not do so. Although confessing her gender would clear her, she did not want to give up her chance to study the Dharma in the monastery. Instead, she bore the whipping of the town mayor stoically, almost to the point of death. The abbot agreed to let her live in a little hut outside the monastery grounds. When the baby was born, the young woman left him outside the hut and Taken decided to raise him as her own. As time passed, she became a quiet, powerful, light-filled presence at the monastery. And people began to forget about the scandal, drawn to sitting in meditation with her and feeling her grace. She died of illness fairly young and became a Buddhist saint, Grand M. Taken or Grand M. Bodak. Of course, the secret of her gender was revealed, shocking everyone. Her former husband and the young woman from town were so moved by the truth that they decided to devote their own lives to the Dharma. I'm a fundamental teacher, Shakyamuni Buddha. I'm a fundamental teacher, Shakyamuni Buddha. I'm a fundamental teacher, Shakyamuni Buddha.